guest is one of 30 women to compete for Zach's Hard on the past season of The Bachelor. Take a look. No oh, yeah, words. Because it doesn't make sense. That makes no sense to me. Sometimes that's just the way life goes, and it sucks, but it just means I'm one step closer to finding who I need to be with. <sighs> My biggest fear is someone saying, Rick, I can't give you the love you deserve. Like, I don't know what that means. Mm. Well, even though that didn't work out, she is giving it all another shot. Give it up for America's new bachelorette, Cherry Lawson! Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're so happy to hear you. Can, can you feel the energy in the crowd? Oh, this is a good crowd. It's fun. Okay. So, what is it like finding out that you're the new Bachelorette on national television? Oh, my goodness. When I was told, I honestly had to double check. I asked, <laughs> are you sure that that was my name that was called? Because I didn't believe it. I literally could not believe it. I was having all these emotions. Mm. I was excited. I was nervous. I mean... It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so it to hear is. my name called, I knew that it was going to be something incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you feel it. Oh, my God. And what is it like taking on a platform as a bachelorette, mm. as a black woman? It's huge. It, it's huge. Um, this puts me in the position of being the fourth um, mm. woman of color to hold this role and, you know, the second monoracial African-American um, woman to have the opportunity to find love. And... I notice and I acknowledge that this is so much bigger than myself. Mm -hmm. Although it is my journey to love, like it's bigger than me. And I just want to be able, and I'm honored to hold that representation for other people at home that look like me, women of color, mm -hmm. little girls that can look up to me and, and acknowledge that this is something that's possible for them too. You are a great representation, yeah. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, your parents, they've been married for 47 years. That's amazing, first of all. Yes. Wow, how did they meet? Uh, they have the craziest love story, but the most beautiful. So they were actually next door neighbors as children growing up. And they didn't start dating until high school. So high school sweethearts. And upon graduating and my dad going to college, he joined the army. Um, they got married, and they have been married ever since. So that is insane. beautiful. So, yeah, it is. It's insane. insane. <laughs> Are they skeptical about you doing this? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I think what parent would not <laughs> not be. I mean, I, the first time I went on this show, they were definitely um, skeptical. But I think my parents have instilled such good values in me and, and morals. So they're also trusting and knowing that I can make good decisions and, and will make the right decision. Mm. Um, but I mean, yeah, it comes with its highs and lows, the challenges of any parent watching their child be vulnerable on national TV again. Um, but they're excited. So. I'm sure they're proud too. Mm -hmm. That's, That's for sure. Proud. That's for sure. <laughs> Now, America was heartbroken when you went home. Mm -hmm. Did you see it coming? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I did not. I will say I was a little blindsided um, because me and Zach always had what I felt okay. um, a very honest and open relationship, no matter if it was a challenging conversation to have. We both gave each other that space to do so. Mm -hmm. um, but I will acknowledge that at that point in, in the process, it's almost hard not to be blindsided because it's, he's making difficult decisions. And so um, I didn't see it coming, but I mean, he had to make an uncomfortable, but a decision that was best for him, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you feel like you got closure at all? Yeah, you know? I do. Um, we did have an opportunity to kind of talk about that, and I asked him kind of what was that process like for him to make that decision? Like, how did he navigate? How did he go about it? What was, I guess, for me, I asked him what was the turning point, right. you know? Um, where, where did it go wrong? And he basically just reiterated to me that it wasn't anything that went wrong. It's something that he honestly struggled. He was going back and forth with all day before that rose ceremony. And he just had to make a, a decision, which for me, I was like, I don't know if that makes me feel better, but at least you're acknowledging, you know, that that's what you, you were it. going through. Right. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. Okay, so you've had, like, uh, the, the last year has been massive. Let me see. You graduated, mm -hmm. then you were on The Bachelor, and now you're The Bachelorette. Yeah. Like, how are you processing all of this? I still am. I really am. Um, this time last year, I was literally just, like you said, just graduating, and yeah. then working, then getting the, the opportunity to go on Zach's season, and 
be on The Bachelor, and then now I'm in my own journey of my own. So <laughs> I feel like things just keep getting better. So uh, it's it's a lot, but it's all exciting, and I'm just glad and grateful for for all of these good things. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> now, I want to know, are you ready for love? Oh, I'm so ready. I think I'm even yeah. more ready. Is that a word <laughs> or a phrase? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yes, very excited. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to open your heart. and. Yep. They're going to let it all flow out. Let it all <laughs> flow out. I love that. Yeah. And you're a therapist, huh? I am. I'm a child and family therapist, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Wait, so do you feel like you have an advantage, like you can get more inside of their minds or anything? Yeah, I think um, a few of the core skills that I have as a therapist is just that I'm a really active listener mm -hmm. and I'm really compassionate. So I think for me, I'm very expressive, I wear my heart on my sleeve, I don't mind feeling my emotions. So I think for me, that will be an advantage in the sense that I hope that cultivates a space for, for the guys um, yeah. to also kind of reciprocate that back to me, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you looking for in a man? Ooh, I have a whole checklist, but we're not gonna run that down. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But you know, there's a few traits that I definitely know that I, I need after, you know, kind of going through past relationships, um, somebody who's confident. I, I want someone who's sure of what they want. It, it, we're not playing games. Mm. Um, someone who is funny, a sense of humor is really important. And someone who's authentic. I just want someone who is themselves. Um, don't, they don't feel a need to put on a facade. I, I want the true, the real you. Mm. Um, and yeah, those are the few, top three at, at least, top three. All right, we all taking notes, yes. that's for sure. <laughs> uh, do you have, what's your type? Like who is your celebrity crush? Oh God. <laughs> My celebrity crush. I don't know if I should say it, but <laughs> we want to know. It's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh now, now I have to ask. I'm sure you observe him oh sometimes. Do you think he has those traits that you're looking for? I do. I mean, what do you see in him? I don't know him um, obviously, but he has a great smile. Uh -huh. So yeah. Uh -huh. Um, has a little bit of swag. I mean, that's, okay. yeah. That's always that's the not the characteristics. I, I list it off, but you won't really know those until you get to know a person. But from what I can see and things that I've read, I think he does embody all of that, so. <laughs> that's a tip. Yeah. Uh, we got a good sense of that right there. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.